Hello Internet World, Slain Misfit back with yet another Slayer related video. This time around we're going to be talking about the Herb Sack. But before we dive into it, allow me to give a nice plug to the clan that I'm a part of. Terra Nova, the clan that has no requirements, active discord, 150 plus active members, and always looking for new people. So if you need a clan that's awesome, join Terra Nova. Onward to the video. The Herb Sack. What is it? Well, judging by the name, it is an herb sack, clearly. What it does is it holds 30 of each type of herb, from Guam all the way to Torstal. It'll hold 30 of each herb, which is incredibly convenient. Now, in order to obtain an herb sack, you must have 750 Slayer Reward points stored, and it requires 58 herb lore, which cannot be boosted, and allows players to store up to 30 of each type of herb. Now, the herbs have to be grimy, they cannot be clean, so it helps when you get a bunch of herb drops from Slayer monsters such as Aberrant Spectres. Now a note that is absolutely important to know is that any herbs placed in the herb sack will disappear upon death to an NPC. So if you have your herb sack loaded with herbs and something kills you, you will lose all of those herbs. So be careful if you're fighting powerful monsters so that you do not die and lose your entire trip of herbs. The herb sack can be used outside of Slayer, but it is specifically obtained through a Slayer Master with 750 Slayer points. So the herb sack is an absolute necessity for any aspiring Slayer, especially if you want to make Slayer trips quicker and more profitable. The herb sack is an absolute must-have, so I highly recommend getting 750 Slayer points and getting the herb sack. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, so you will be a part of the notification squad. This has been Slain Misfit from Terra Nova, and I will see you all again very soon. Thank you.